Hello, my name is John Markowitz. I'm an engineer at the New York Power Authority, and today I'm going to be speaking about our K Solar program. Uh, K Solar is a partnership between New York Power Authority, NYSERDA, and the New York State Education Department to make solar uh, power affordable for schools. And today we'll be talking about some solar ownership options and giving you a brief overview of the K Solar program and how you can use it to have your school go solar. The goal of today's presentation is to answer some key questions you might have, and the five key questions that I'm thinking you have is can your school district afford to go solar? You may have heard the cost of solar has been dropping, but you may have also heard it's somewhat expensive, so you're probably wondering, is it affordable? And then a real key question with budgets the way they are is will your school district really save money by going solar? So we'll talk a bit about that. Also, you might be wondering, are the buildings in your school district suitable for solar energy? And there's some technical criteria you're going to want to look at to determine whether they're suitable or not. And at the Power Authority, we have staff that are going to help you with that. And also, you might be wondering, how long is the contractual process or the construction process going to take? Is it days, weeks, months? I'm going to answer some of those questions for you. And also, you might be wondering, how does this K-Solar program work, and how can the New York Power Authority and NYSERDA and the New York State Education Department assist you in going solar? And I'll go over some of those details as well. So first, on the question of can our district afford to go solar? One key thing to remember is that solar energy can be procured for your school without any major upfront capital expense. And there's two basic options for you to do that. The first one is the one we're encouraging is a solar PPA, which is a power purchase agreement. So basically a solar array goes on the roof of your school building, but it's owned by a privately owned third party. And there's all sorts of benefits of that, and we'll go over some of those. And what does your school district pay? You pay for the solar energy on a monthly basis. So you only pay for the energy that comes from the solar. But these are long-term agreements. Typical agreement has a 20-year term. So we'll talk a bit about some of those agreements. And then one of the big benefits of being part of this case solar program is an aggregated purchasing. We're going to be forming a coalition of school districts all throughout the state to get economies of scale and get that kind of uh, benefit in terms of pricing. Another option you have is you can still finance a solar array that would be owned by the school district. You could do that through our low interest financing that we offer. And we would also do turnkey project management. We would procure the solar and then turn over ownership to the school district. The economics of doing it that way are nowhere near as good, and I'll explain that a bit later. So how does third-party ownership compare to school-owned solar? So in this chart, we do some comparisons. The first big one is federal tax incentives. And being a public or a nonprofit private school, you're thinking, well, how do federal tax incentives fit in if we're not a taxable entity? That's exactly right. The tax benefits for doing solar can add up to as much as half the cost of doing a solar array on your school roof. Um, you don't qualify for any of those. But if a third party that's privately owned owns the solar array and operates it for you on your roof, they qualify for all those tax benefits. They can forward some of that savings on to your school district. So there's some real benefits there to the third party owned. Also in terms of state incentives for going solar, if the school owns it, you would qualify for all the NYSERDA state incentives. There's also some incentives from the state education department for going solar, but that's only if you do a small solar system. For third-party owned systems, you could do much larger systems. They still get the full NYSERDA rebates. Try to cover the entire roof of the school, offset a large amount of your electric use, and save as much money as possible. In terms of financing, if the school owns it, you'd have to go out for a bond. This would require a vote. Or you could finance it through us as an energy efficiency project. But this third party, they use debt and equity financing. So their cost of capital, it's a bit higher than yours would be as a government entity. So there's some pros and cons there, but overall still the third party option is going to be the most economic for you. Also in terms of operations and maintenance, if 
you have a solar array and it's owned by the school district, that means the school's facilities personnel are going to be maintaining this. That might not be in their expertise, but a third party that owns the solar array, that's all they do. They remotely monitor solar arrays. They're only getting paid for the energy that the solar array produces, so they're very motivated to come out and fix anything that might break down over the years. In terms of experience, the third party, they're experts at owning and operating solar arrays. And in terms of cost certainty, if the school owns the solar array and something goes down and it has to be repaired, you're taking on a certain amount of production risk that you're not going to be producing energy in those times when the solar system's not operating. When a third party owns it, if it's not operating, you don't pay them. So that takes all that risk away from the school district. So there's a benefit there as well to third party ownership. In terms of the question, will your school district save money by going solar? We will answer that question for you. As your free energy advisor, NYPA at the New York Power Authority, we'll do a free solar analysis for your facility. We'll also analyze your electric bills and do that cost comparison between your utility bills and the cost of solar energy. So you would have a sense of what kind of savings are possible by participating in a program like this. And one benefit of the solar power purchase agreement is long-term budgetary certainty, that you will know 15 years from now what the cost of energy will be at your school for that solar energy. That's not something you can say about the electricity that you're currently buying from your utility. You don't really know what that's going to cost 15 years from now. So there are some benefits to these long-term power purchase agreements. In terms of the question, are your buildings suitable for solar power, we will also include an analysis of that in this free site survey that we'll provide you through the K-Solar program. So the key questions we're going to be asking you is your roof age, the kinds of materials the roof is made out of, and we'll determine whether solar is appropriate for that roof or not. We'll look at shading on that roof and do an analysis and say, yes, this is an appropriate roof for solar or not. If, say, your roofs are not suitable, there are some other options, and that would be a ground-mounted solar array if, the, say, the school owns some property that was not being used, like an old football field or something. There's also a parking lot solar canopy option, and these are the things we would go over in this site survey. And like I said, we would analyze your electric bills and also give you an estimate of how much energy the solar array that's suitable for your property would produce over the years. In terms of how long the contractual process takes, you're really going to want to leave three to five months from start to completion to get all these contracts in place. And like I said before, you have multiple contractual options. The first one that's listed on the slide is the one we would encourage you to look into, which is to join our K-Solar program. We have this aggregated procurement of solar power purchase agreements throughout the state. You'd be part of a coalition of school districts all throughout the state to buy solar, to buy it at scale, to get the best pricing possible. Another benefit of this is NYPA is providing all the administrative work for you. So we are actually running an RFP on your behalf. So we're administering all that for you, taking care of these technical details as part of this alliance of interested schools. One key thing to think about in terms of timeline is these federal tax credits that make solar so much more economically attractive, they will be sunsetting. And that happens in the end of 2016. So those tax credits will drop from 30% down to 10%. And it's a key thing to think about because that solar array has to be completely constructed and operational by the end of 2016. There are other options, like I said. You can finance a district-owned solar array through us with our low interest rates, government to government. And we do the turnkey project management, but like I said, not likely to be anywhere near as economic as the first option. And if your school district decides you want to go solar and do it on your own, we can also provide you some technical assistance to get you ready to do your own RFP. In terms of the construction project, if you're wondering how long that would take, you want to allow about five months to a year for that to go through full completion from your first kickoff meeting to having an operational solar array. And that timeline includes everything. It includes your design, your permitting, construction, and inspection by the SED, and also your local utility. One real benefit of participating in the K-Solar program 
is that the State Education Department is one of our partners in the program and they are part of our team and they are going to have an expedited permitting process to get your solar through this design to permitting to construction process. In terms of how the Case Solar Program can assist you in this process of getting your school to go solar, we're publishing this series of educational webinars for school administrators to learn what is involved in going solar, to learn about the services that we're offering school districts at no cost and no obligation to help them get through this process. We're offering these free site surveys, the solar energy analysis, and we're providing this aggregated procurement where we're running an RFP on behalf of school districts all throughout the state and giving you the technical and administrative support as well as giving you the economies of scale to make solar as economically attractive as possible. We've built all the template documents to get you through this process and we've also worked with the State Education Department to expedite the permitting to get these systems constructed. For additional information, I'd invite you to come visit our website. And on the website, you can register your school, give us your contact information, and we'll start working on the surveys that you need to get your school to go solar and to really understand the numbers. I'd also invite you to go to NYSERDA's website if you want to learn more about the solar incentives that are available. And I also have contact information on this slide that you could reach out to us, call us with your questions, send us emails, and we're eager to hear from you. Our Case Solar Program has a sister program called Community Solar New York that's going to be administered by NYSERDA. And in this program, your school can be a hub for your entire community to go solar. Parents, small businesses in your school district can learn more about solar through this program. And this isn't a program that your school district would necessarily administer, but maybe the school district would be a host for this program. A local nonprofit, like maybe a, a parent teachers association, local environmental group, would actually administer the program using the school to have town hall meetings, educate the population about going solar, and then the population of the town would then do an aggregated procurement. The more homes that go solar, the better the pricing would be because they'd be doing a, a large RFP on behalf of multiple homeowners. So it's an exciting program. There are a lot of educational components that would be great for the students at the school. We have contact information on this slide for the folks at NYSERDA who are running the program, and I'd encourage you to contact them. So with that, I'd like to thank you for your time for viewing this, and I'd encourage you to um, register on our website if you haven't already done so. Thank you.